Hi, you guys. I am coming on the road. Get tickets at esteronice.com. I'm coming to New York, Florida. I'm coming to San Francisco, Portland. You guys know where to go. Esteronice.com for tickets and go to sleepoverbyester.com to check out the new drop that is so cute. We have now we have 100% recycled t-shirts, so nobody can tell me I'm a bad person. Well, you still can, but it'll be harder. Hello, sluggies. I um, am back on tour. You can see me this weekend, August 27th and 28th at the Hartford Funny Bone in Connecticut, September 7th and 8th at the Zanies in Chicago, Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities, September 9th through 11th, the Life is Beautiful Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, September 18th and 19th, Rayleigh, North Carolina at Good Night, September 23rd through 25th. Can't wait to see you guys. It's been absolutely amazing. All right, I missed you this episode, but I will see you on the next. And Esther does touch my vagina, so you're going to want to see that one. Kalila has a pair of underwear that was mine. Well, that's weird yeah. to share well, that. She, Why does she have your old underwear? That she seems, seems weird. It was a gift um, two years ago on uh, my birthday. Is my tea that you I gifted brought. her old underwear? She gifted me her panties from when she from was high school. High school, yeah. Are you jealous, Esther? Wait, I am because I feel like I know what they are and I want them. They are they the perfect, ones with the band? Soft. They have They're a blue and white tiny band here. I've always wait. You give me a pair like that once. These were Superman, right? Superman, oh, okay. Yeah. And they had a hole in them, like probably where I had been scratching my vagina. <laughs> okay. Also, one thing I was, you know, one thing I was thinking on the way over here is your Instagram handle is Jenna Jimenez. Did I? I really think I don't want to flex. Nice? I, <laughs> I, I think I gave you that name. And you gave me Esther Monster, which I is I did my, give you Esther. You might have given I me I think Jenna I was Jimenez. the first person to say Jenna Jimenez. I want to go ahead and say um, you named um, Donut as well. I sure Jenna did. did. Yeah. Yeah. We were all sitting there and we we're like, it should, be a do- it should be a dessert. And everyone was naming desserts. And then Jenna said Donut. And I was like, that's it. Also, though, she's the only person who's been able to submit Julio. Julio, we have a weird dog named Julio. Oh, I was just thinking of a guy in high school named Julio who once made fun of me for wearing glitter eyeshadow and it just, you just triggered it. So I'm come just going to Did calm you fight down. back? Come on. No, I, no, but this is my moment. Julio, you were wrong. Actually, you were right. Glitter eyeshadow is lame. No, there aren't many redeemable Julios because my dog Julio is quite the monster, except I think Jenna broke him because um, you humped him back one time. Yeah, I sure what? did. It's like my thing. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like it's a training what technique that I made up. Okay, like when tell a, us because a dog. That's that's it. Like when a dog is humping you, what are you? Uh, Julio is about? a troubled dog. How he likes no one. So show me, like, if I'm the dog. Okay. Like, let's say look, first, I'm gonna hump you. Yeah, just come up like on my leg. That's how <laughs> that's how you hump. That is the problem. She just says, <laughs> Esther? You go to hump me and then I go. <laughs> 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 no, no, you did not. Do that. Yes, you I not. did. No. Yes, I did. I grabbed him and went. <clears throat> and, and then it was like everything was fine. Ever since then, he's just like, he cra- like, <laughs> what? <laughs> he bends the knee when he sees When he her. said hi to me yesterday, he did a thing where he twisted his body. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why? He's weird. He does yoga poses. He's um, you know, he's a so he's our neighborhood sociopath. The best behaviorist in LA looked me dead in the eyes and said, "Nothing can be done." <laughs> Wait, what? He basically said he was. Do you born still have this a, dog? Yeah, we Which love him so much. It? He's the best. I can't. Julio. Julio. He's insane. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you want to know what it's like when George trains a dog, that's just how he talks to me and Annie. He's like, okay, good girl. <laughs> bad, is it a bad girl? Don't be a bad girl. Uh, let's Wants not do that. <laughs> do you like money? <laughs> that's that's, that's me. amazing. <laughs> yeah. He's Every like, ah. time I have a complaint of any sorts, Kalila, do you like money? <laughs> I do. That's really yes. smart. Yes, Joy. Please, Please, Mama. 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 That's the okay. only way to get us to fall back in line very quickly. I know. We're so so, that would make me fall back in line real fast. <laughs> so, okay, let's give the audience proper information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jenna is... You're like 
What? Look like you're like about to have sex or something. Like, <laughs> what? How is this sex? Like, exactly. and how you imagine her attack Dave <laughs> after you humped me? I'm like, that's how you have sex. <laughs> um, Jenna is my best friend from college. <laughs> we went to college together. It's kind of a big deal. Best friends, so many memories. It's a very big deal. I think Jenna is your biggest contribution to my life. My, Wait, that was a lot of smart words. My like, biggest con- Your biggest contribution Wait, to my life is introducing her to me. That's actually rude. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm so actually kind. so upset. <laughs> that's the, the sweetest thing so, and most no. compassionate, kind thing anyone has ever said about me. No, that is so rude. <laughs> Second to your love and presence. <laughs> it's and actually friendship. the kindest thing anyone's ever said about you. Even though <laughs> I get it, I'm still really <laughs> offended. <laughs> But yes, I do get it when someone, because Jenna won't just like take anyone on. She doesn't take new clients on Mm -mm. often. I've been getting rid of clients, actually. Mm -hmm. I remember when like five or six years ago, you're like, Esther, no new friends. Like, I just Mm -hmm. can't. And I was like, okay, good to know. And she, you have a big, when I met you, giant bank of friends. I used to think like, well, and I understood it, but you're a beloved person yeah by anyone who meets you people are addicted to you yeah that's so sweet and also i would say like you're the friend and i think we have this with each other where it's like when shit like just tell if there's something that you're so humiliated that you never would tell anyone you tell me and i tell you yeah mm-hmm. it's like i can't wait to call you and be like i'm worthless yeah if oh, and you I have ha- medical nudes they go to jenna first <laughs> yeah and also like i had something really tra- traumatic happen to me the past few months and I remember telling Jenna, I was just, and she was, she was like, okay, I don't care, whatever. And I was like, that's exactly what I wanted you to say. Like, that's, ex- I just didn't want pity. And anyways, Jenna's my best friend from college. She's an actress. She, because of me, knows Kalila. So now they're kind of like, what are you guys? You guys are kind of best besties. She's my, like I think family. you guys are family. You guys are like cousins family, yeah. now. For sure. She's my, I would say, like scissors uh, sisters. my emotional, how support do you sell it? Like, animal. Em- emotional support animal. Yeah. Be- it's beyond friendship, I think. Like, I, yeah. when I travel, she's always the, <laughs> it, she's next to best. my sister, it says, like, when are you coming? No, I can't because it work. Go straight to Jenna. Yeah. If Jenna can't come, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess that trip's out of the, it you know. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. So we met in college, and we've just been in love ever since. <laughs> <laughs> More like trapped, <laughs> but it's Stockholm syndrome with for all, all of us, I think. Also worth noting, Jenna is a Mexi Jew, half Hence Mexican. Jenna Jimenez, the yes. Instagram handle that you came up, which with. I swear I remember hearing your last name and being like. She's Jewish. Her, her name was Jenna Jumenez. I bet it was because I don't have a, a memory yeah. of coming up with that Yeah. on my own. And I remember that I, in starting in seventh grade, was called Jenna Monster because my friend's brother always called me Jenna Monster. But I was just like, it, you're a monster. Yeah. Like, that fits you. Yeah. Now... I, when I was super little, had a had a was a family friend with a Mexican Jews. And then they moved away. So then when I met you, I was like, oh my god, another Mexican Jew. By the Mexican only Jews, one. do you mean horchata? <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> you mean like the Jew Max tamarindo? Oh, Mexican juice, juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like her funniest thing she ever said. <laughs> it's the best joke I've ever come up with. Aguas fresca. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm more just happy because I'm looking at how Kalila was like. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen her like that. I'm uncomfortable. I'm gonna tell. The, honestly, that was the daddiest joke I've ever told in my life. <laughs> when I met Jenna, her claim to fame, which I only knew about this because our other friend Kristen was Jenna oh, stalker. No. No. But this is so crazy. Jenna was on so, a reality show. you say show. it, this is your claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> I never tell anyone about this. And Esther runs through the streets, literally continue. Jenna was on a fucking reality show when she was in high school called Endurance, uh-huh. which was originally on NBC and then went to Discovery Kids. It was a kid's, yeah. it was like Survivor for kids. And listen to this. She was on that show. She got voted back as like the audience favorite to come back for season two. So she did two seasons and she fucking won season two. Whoa. She won a reality show in high school. It's How weird. The what the only w- thing I've ever Wait, won. <laughs> were you popular in high school because of it? 
I was popular in high school before I think that only popular girls have that much confidence that they're not popular. Because for unpopular (laughs) girls, in my head, I want to believe there were moments of popularity. I'm like, yeah, I was sort of like medium. I was you were definitely very popular, popular but it's more than that. I was very confident. So like even if I was unpopular, I didn't it didn't register because I did it in my second year of high school. And I remember I didn't tell anyone hmm. where I was, what I was doing. It was over the summer because I don't know. I, I guess I just thought it was loser or something like the show I thought was loser, but the experience I thought was dope. Yeah. The people I met, the things that we – look at her face of disgust just thinking of like being on an island. Like no, scorpions. I'm like, this is so cool. You never talk about it. So but I didn't tell anyone. I'm also thinking what? about how the show had subtitles for you. Don't even – okay, we're going to get to that. So – Because <laughs> you were – Just wait. Brown? <laughs> Basically yeah. – Here's a blurb I'd like to read for our audience uh, from Jenna Jimenez's endurance page. I like to be playful and I like to have a good time. And other people, <laughs> they tend to be too serious. Jenna, in her introduction in Right to Stay. This is horrific. <laughs> oh, my God. You look so cute, though. I With an actual dog collar on. Yes, wearing a Not dog Not like collar. a cool kinky dog collar, but one from Petco. And then that jacket that I was wearing was my father's from the 70s, like super small, short. Oh, man. Your mom was so good at saving things. I'm so jealous. Oh. Real good at saving yeah, things. a little too good. <laughs> a little too good. There's a childhood. My whole museum. There's My whole childhood is like a museum at our house. I need to visit it. it and make purchases. <laughs> you really should. <laughs> Are there things for sale? <laughs> oh, and then the subtitles. Why do they subtitle <clears throat> you? I spoke very differently as a kid and teenager because was I grew it with up a black Chicago. <laughs> I want to say that it was unfortunately a black scent mixed with maybe a little like Latin slang the way yeah. my brother spoke because my yeah. brother still speaks like that, mm-hmm. and he, but he doesn't hear it, which makes sense. Like I grew up in a household with my mom speaking like ma, yeah, hello, <laughs> and then my brother being like nah, man, like it's not like that, you know, <laughs> and then my dad like mija. You come over here, you get the Burger King. I'm like, a hamburger? Yeah. So it's like <laughs> nothing at home made sense. So when all my friends at school spoke a certain way and I spent most of my time with them, that's speak how I – Speak like your peer. Right. No, I totally get that. And I think that I did a really terrible job trying to mimic different um, people from my high school when I first came mm. here. My final phase was talking like a white girl. <laughs> and that did not – that was a, the worst part – was because there was no white people in my school. But I tried <laughs> to like, like mimic my swim team. Oh, white yeah, the club team that I went to, like all kids from like San Marino, La Crescenta. Mm. So I would try to mimic them. It was really, really, really a tragic time for me in high school. Because you, you, you seem sick for having to like go through six different accents trying to like find who you are. <laughs> Kalila, can you please read that? I don't, I can't read Jenna, that. <laughs> Jenna is into hip-hop, drama, (laughs) Irish dancing, and swimming. She has a wall in her bedroom covered with graffiti because she believes that anyone who enters her room should speak their mind freely and write down their thoughts. That was another thing I couldn't believe. She really had that. And I I, still like that. I grew up like you cannot – if you're if there is a fingerprint on these white walls, <laughs> you are in so much fucking trouble. Get your hand off the wall. Get your did you touch the mirror? And then I walk into her house and there's just drawing ever like <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'm there just, was like a dick on the wall, <laughs> tits, like yeah. the I'm coming down. The F word. Of course. <laughs> um everywhere cuz at the age of like 9 I was like, "Mom, I feel that everyone who enters my room should be able to speak their mind." And oh she God. was like, "Yeah, they can speak their mind." And I was like, but they should feel like they can really speak their mind. So I'm going to start letting people speak their mind onto my walls. And I imagine in her head she was like, Lord, fuck me in the ass with no condom. But out loud what came out is she was like, okay, if that's what you feel, okay. And then she just let it be. Wow, like, my y- your mom – to be fair, is one of the nicest ladies. Ever. My mom would have chopped off my entire forearms before <laughs> I could even pick up just your a forearms pen. and then attach your hand to your elbows. He's like, try, sh- try swimming now, bitch. Like but she, 
I was really lucky with my mom. Yeah, like but just, remember your mom's reaction to your tattoos, your piercings? Yes. Yeah, so this is like what was asked backwards. Everything was like, do whatever you want. You should be having sex. You should be orgasming. Blah, blah, blah. Speak Ew, your mind. Be free. If my family said that Same. to me, yeah. would be, that's, Which that's is a why different kind of trauma, I think. Yeah. It is. I mean, that's why I didn't have sex till I was 19 because I was like, no, never. No, never. Because you're associating it now with something that your mom is into. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not cool. And your mom yeah. wants you to do... Yeah, I'm like, I'm never doing that loser shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like the more you want your kid to do it, the more you forbid them. That's she exactly. She was like, you should have yeah. a mirror and you should be knowing what your vagina looks like. I'm God. like, what? Um, is something preventing either of you guys from achieving your goals or interfering with your happiness? Yes. All day, every day. Like truly, same. Truly. Yes. You need to check out betterhelp.com. I did it. Slash Trash Tuesday. Listen, you guys, we all use BetterHelp. In fact, it, to be in our friend group, it's a requirement at this point. Oh, yeah. Don't call me if you haven't already used BetterHelp because I don't want to hear it, quite frankly. Correct. There are professionals who can actually help you with your real life stuff. And they can help you better with BetterHelp. Yes, it's an unbiased <laughs> person able to give you professional advice. And you connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. And you can start communicating with someone in under 48 hours. Trust me when I say this everyone needs therapy everyone needs help no one is no one is immune to this we all need help and better help is such a way that has made it so much more convenient for me to communicate with a therapist online i'm not sitting in a waiting room i'm not dealing with parking or traffic like it's all there safe from home it's so damn convenient and i love that i can send a message to my counselor anytime i want to whether it's depression stress anxiety family conflicts grief self-esteem they have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in this. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, and affordable. Um, it's we, not. It's sorry. not a crisis line. That's what our friend group calls Jenna for. Yeah, <laughs> that's we, something else. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get ten percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com/slash Trash Tuesday. Join over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp H-E-L-P.com slash Trash Tuesday. All right, you guys. There's a new water brand at the stores. You know you've seen it. You've seen it at Whole Foods. You've seen it at 7-Eleven. You've seen it on my freaking TikTok. And on Jenna's chest. And literally, and spilled all over. I just sent my parents a case of it and they're like, oh, we're going to serve it to the neighbors when they come over tonight. I'm like, they're my parents are going to be so badass. The coolest people in Skokie. Liquid death. Liquid death is the, like, I just don't know why it makes me happy. It also tastes very good. I crack open a can. I feel like I'm so cool. I feel like I'm riding high, but the secret is it's literally water. I'm literally opening a can of water. I'm not that cool, but I get to feel cool. And their sparkling water is so sparkly. It like attacks my face. It's so, it's like gives me all the tingles that I'm looking for. And why is it called liquid death, Esther? Because death to plastic, bitch, okay? <laughs> we have aluminum cans, so you don't have to worry about it sitting and rotting in its plastic. You don't have to feel guilty like you're bad for the environment. Dude, this is the way to just have it grab and go. I put a case of them in my trunk, in the trunk of my car, so I... I always know that, okay, there's a case of water in there. I'm good. And it's not like plastic where it'll melt and get disgusting. I also feel like this is your dream come true because you've always wanted to remain sober while looking like a drunk person. That's right. And as you That's hear right. the story I told on this episode, you'll hear why. It was very traumatizing when a guy ditched me because I was sober. <laughs> this could have Man, solved that problem. Ass. You guys can get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash trash. That's liquiddeath.com slash trash. And that's a huge deal because honestly, it's not cheap to ship this. It's really heavy. And they're covering the cost. It's literally free shipping at liquiddeath.com slash trash. Or go grab some at Whole Foods or 7-Eleven. You know, you know, you see it. You know you want to be cool. Wait, okay. what do you have? And Donut is like oh, definitely what's thinking. What's in the mystery box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? Uh, take, give me the what's gun. in the fucking box? Give me the gun. So Jenna's going to have the box on her lap and uh, put her hand in the box and say, uh, guess what's in there? Does Donut get a try? <clears throat> Has a hole in it? <laughs> what? <laughs> ew! It fell. It fell. Ew, 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 ew
This is but, literally an attack on me because you guys know I have a story about this food that made me cry in Vegas. It's pulpo. <laughs> it's octopus leg. I know. It should make me cry because I don't eat octopus yeah, because, because they're sentient beings. All right. Let's the <laughs> My octopus I mean, teacher. Like, oh, was this so that other people could see? Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wanted to avoid hitting the <laughs> microphone. It's so weird the way that this show, it's like every week <laughs> they present me with something I'm scared of. The audience hates me yes, for I it. I think that's an attack oh. for me. I think uh, when the, you're scared of everything, it's kind of hard not to present anything. That's, uh, <laughs> if that's you true. put a double cheeseburger, I will not be scared. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Um, oh my god. This is oh my god. un camarón. Wow. Oh, good. whoa. One-handed. Bitch, you good. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like it feels the same if I like put my pussy in there and you were just like, <laughs> un camarón. <laughs> <laughs> if you honestly put one of your pussies in the box, they would have had the same answer. <laughs> ew, ew, un camarón. <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling well today. What's new? I have a uh, doctor's note. What's new? <laughs> I have the Delta variant. <laughs> you are the Delta variant. <laughs> Your patient zero, Esther. <laughs> <laughs> no, why are you laughing? <laughs> why are you laughing? I, I don't know. It looks funny to me. <laughs> why is it funny? Why is it funny? I, why is it funny? <laughs> you just stick your hand in, bitch, and you'll figure out. Well, because I don't want to touch a prawn. Like It's not a prawn. Well, what, if, what if it came from shirt? For someone who is very willing to fist my asshole, you should be very good at this game, Esther. Like, you're such a dirty bitch. You should be able to touch it. <laughs> it's nothing worse than any amount of time that you haven't showered. No, that is so... <laughs> It's just like I okay, like moved just get out. To it. I like left my parents' house to move to LA to do Esther, stand-up no. comedy. If you want to tell your story about how you met me or whatever, <laughs> no, just touch it. But it's just like, why did I come here to do stand-up comedy? And now I'm like having this people bitch. egg me on to put my hand in a box that I don't know what's in it. This it's just like bitch. stand-up comedy is the hardest thing anybody can do, and you won't put your hand in a box. <laughs> <This is> like- <laughs> <laughs> I hate just put your hand right in the box. Hey, no, 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 no. You want, we're gonna get you want I'll, I'll, I choose the next one I guess we're gonna go twice if no wants. no you put your hand yeah just it. put your hand Esther it's fine look where she's putting her hand she's gonna be like air there's nothing Esther, now that's, that's weird mine must have jumped out just smash it smash it in there yeah it's not alive right be brave little well, one I mean Esther look at me it's fine make a wish but for each sad Am I little tear. Ma- no, you're not going to be mad. You're going <laughs> to be like, oh, I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> it's not alive, right? It's a, it's, it's, it's a living thing. It's not alive, though, anymore. It's a living organism. What do you mean? Esther, you got to Think get about to what it. a living organ... Uh, what's a living thing? What, what makes a living thing? Eyes. <laughs> 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 <It's> an eyeball. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do what the TSA does, like around my special parts. I'm gonna go back on my hand. <laughs> this is how they, they deal with special parts at the TSA. <laughs> they do the back of the hand to my yeah. breast. Yeah, it's very impersonal. Okay. Get very like okay, smash it down some more. Is it really from sugarfish? <laughs> it feels. Is there sugarfish here? It feels Full like spell? sushi. Well, what's your final answer, Esther? Turn your hand downward. Your palms are where your nerves are at. How are you gonna identify an object when what your nerves, nerves have not touched it? Yeah, what would a nurse do, Esther? A nurse would get in the car and drive straight to the hospital and help out. Get to know <laughs> what an actual hemorrhoid <laughs> feels like. I really do not like what, it. Think about it. You're a nurse. You're putting a suppository. I swear to you, I don't you're like it. You're making donut nervous. It feels like it has skin. Esther, you're making donut nervous. It, has this, it definitely has it. skin. It definitely has it skin. It definitely has a skin. Mm-hmm. It definitely has skin. A thousand percent has skin. <laughs> Kalila, you got so much joy out of saying that. <laughs> Just the way she's tapping it. <laughs> she said, it definitely Okay, I skin. totally touched it. I want you to just put it. it. Yeah. Put it in your hand. Why would I do? Because you're a nurse. Nurse Esther. What would Nurse Esther do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I squeezed it and I thought it was going to like, you know, just my fingers would sink Dodi. into it. So what's your guess? I don't know what it is. You may have a guess. Your is wildest. it a bouncy ball? Sushi. Uh, it's a sushi. <laughs> a sushi tie. Sushi me. Is it? Uh, a, a tuna sushi. 
All right, what is it, Pete? Pickled plum. Pickled plum. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I thought I gave it away with hemorrhoid. Esther, I, I gave you my eyes and my trust, and you didn't take it. Yeah, but that could have been meant like, yeah, it's a scary thing, but you'll live. Mm-hmm. No, I said, oh, Esther. That's so unfair. That I fine. gave you a layup asking if it has skin. It's a living thing. Plants, animals are living things. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've <laughs> just been humiliated. The fact that she said, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, Jenna is up next. Kalila, don't look at it like that. What? <laughs> Here, I'll hold it. Move the mic, No, no. <gasps> Jenna, you would love no, this. No, no, Jenna, no. I know for a fact that no. Jenna. Listen, all I'm saying is I don't fuck around. No, no, right? no, 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 no. Jenna, no, no. you'd like this. You just gotta go. But just don't kill it. So gentle. <laughs> yeah, no. This is actually. Unaccept- like I will walk if it's a cockroach it, no 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 no. I would never do that to you I wouldn't be in this room if it was a fucking cockroach George if you bought a fucking cockroach for me a worm yes Jenna loves oh. earthworms uh-huh. you like it I like she it she loves them how did you get those <laughs> <laughs> I know that if you had accidentally killed one it would have like, ruined your whole day my heart is still racing from the plums <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I should I need a break <laughs> I need a Break. What kind of banana or a plum break? <laughs> oh, we need a banana break this early? This is the earliest banana break? This is like not what I signed up for. <laughs> I am really just, I need, I need to lie down. Oh, you winded? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can tell you're like lightheaded. I don't feel well. All right. Is it my turn? Is- uh, no, we'll do, we're, we're doing Esther again. Oh, okay, yeah. Just go straight for it. Just, Be fast, you know. It. Why? You can deduce what it is if you ask me three good questions. Is it alive? No. No. Was it ever alive? Yeah, uh, possibly in from a, s- a living thing, yes. <laughs> Esther, look at me in my eyes. This is the, this is the second time I'm going to do it. It's okay. <laughs> what's your third what's your third question? Would a would a vegan eat it? No. Okay. That makes things different. <laughs> Because a vegan would eat the last one. And if I knew would. that, I would go in with my mouth. <laughs> you would go in with your mouth. But too. this is something that a vegan wouldn't eat, but mm-hmm. it was maybe alive before. I mean, sourced from living things, yes. Sourced, sourced. from living things. So is it honey? <laughs> Esther, three that. questions or means three questions. Oh, she is mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just dig your hand in. You're going to be fine. Let's really? move on. Yes. Esther, you're touching the plate. No, I'm not. You are. She's doing this to the plate. She's touching the plate and her eyes were like. It feels almost like mochi. Stick a nail into it. Yeah, stick a nail into it. That's mean. The way you say it with a big smile. (laughs) (laughs) Like you're just so happy. I just want to see. Well, Donut likes it. It feels like a mochi. It feels like a dessert. Classic. A classic. Go for classics. A ho-ho? That's the name of our show. It's definitely like. It's definitely like squishy. And look, if it's a sea creature, I'm going to be upset. If it's not, I'm okay. It is very similar to a sea creature. Similar. I don't. I think it's a mochi dessert. Okay, good All guess. Right, final answer. Good guess. That is a twink twinkie. twinkie. <gasps> Are you serious? You know what? This is crazy. Wow, you're a dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if I had put my wow. <laughs> Do you guys know that when I went, when my great grandma was still alive, we had to leave Twinkies on the counter for her to eat in the middle of the night? What? It's because her sugar would drop? I don't know. I think it's because she got hungry and she didn't have her teeth in. Uh, it is an easy um, gummy. I can't believe for it was a Twinkie. So I and I got why? and you guys got me twice in a row. <laughs> you got yourself. Your line of questioning you know, is was almost perfect. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's Ugh. like I would expect that if it was a scary thing like octopus, <clears throat> then I would be like really like ah. But because I didn't know what it is, I still feel that crazy fear mm-hmm. that, like, I still feel like is shit. Is your body in fight or flight? Yes, it is. is it is in fight or flight. Show me your armpits. Are you sweating? No, I'm <clears> not. I'm not like you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Nothing has happened. Jenna, put your hand under my armpits now. <laughs> nothing has happened, right? <laughs> nothing has happened to me. But please just touch. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Esther, you want to put your fingers in my armpit? It's like I just shoved my. Oh yeah, I do. That I'll do. Here, you want to try my right armpit? Just get in there fully. It looks like vagina discharge. So wet. It's so 
wet. Yeah. I feel like mine is really wet right now too. Oh, and like please. underneath. No, you, not I think as you're wet okay. as you. Yeah, I. Wait, um, you're like dripping wet, sopping wet, sopping. Yeah. Also, my hands and feet. That's it's why like I wear my socks. favorite thing about her. <laughs> I when your feet her, drip, I'm like, oh. When I, my feet are dripping, I send pictures to Jenna. But is that, and so happy does that make you a healthier person because like sweating is good for you? It makes my hands and feet look really young. So right. yes, should I have an OnlyFans of just my young feet? Yes. I want to start an OnlyFans or something with my feet because the amount of people do I it. get asking me. Here's what I think you should do. My feet. I think you should Irish dance on top of some cake. We we do like a, a, a focus right on your feet. That'll... I have my hard shoes still and my dress. Well, let's take the shoes off because I don't think you'll get a lot of bucks for that. (laughs) Yeah. But you do have very pretty feet. I think that my hands stay very um, soft in between the sweat sessions because of the sweat. But yeah, like people do not believe how what an anxious fight or flighty person I am until they get close. But you're not anxious in fight or flight now, are you? I am. I always am. Yes, she is. The cameras are on. I'm always dying. I'm always... Dying on the inside, but I've I've but made it my like life's normal. mission to not show, make it obvious to someone. Are you just learning this? I guess I I always thought that your sweatiness hadn't. I didn't think that it had something to do with how you actually felt. I thought it was just like some people sweat more. She's always yeah. on the verge of a panic attack. <laughs> yeah, Esther. <laughs> One time I called Jenna from a Gelson's produce aisle, and I called her crying, and I was like. I have this fear that I'm going to forget who I am. Like, I thought and I was going to enter goes, a fugue state. She goes, and I don't remember anyone else's name but yours. So and I was like, I and she had you. to pick me up, and I, I was frozen. She dropped in the all her groceries. Aisle. I dropped everything I had in my cart, and I was. she picked me up, and I was like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Just wheeled around. It's so weird, because you. I feel like you know, like, the low Kalila, low status <laughs> Kalila, and I only know high status yeah. Kalila. Like, to me, Kalila is like, such a boss bitch like she's but that's just, part of the boss bitchness because it's like imagine feeling like that and still doing stuff yeah yeah <laughs> literally you're, you want to talk about fear i'm afraid of breathing <laughs> like <laughs> at night i call jenna in a panic like i don't know why i keep holding my breath for no reason <laughs> like if someone says relax breathe focus on your breath it throws me even to a bigger panic oh that's true that's when i told normal. you that the I other feel, day I feel like, mm. yeah I'm like, i used to be like that with jenna too until i started my lexapro it's true. shout out lexapro it that really is does so wonders true. it was just a mere year ago that <laughs> i was a nightmare that you were still a nightmare i might be joining you soon really i might be hopping back on this the bitch has changed i tell people how much how different you are i don't like to say better because it's like no, yeah, you're better. <laughs> but like you were just <laughs> I don't want to say unbearable either. But like, <laughs> but like obviously I was very very close with you and I loved you still the same because in my mind I'm like, oh, that's just Esther. There's no yeah. there's no other Esther. But now that I see you, I'm like, she's alive. Yeah, I was just so I my anxiety like ruled everything. Again. Right, and I didn't know that it was like really your anxiety, but when I look because that's all I knew, but when I look back and I'm like, "Oh, you were constantly scared." What were you most scared paranoid. of? What is the one thing you feel well, like was, you fixated on? Well, I was also keep in mind like I was a hypochondriac, mm-hmm. and which you know because yeah. I've texted I text both of you about like ail- ailments. I think I yeah. had the amount of times she had me come over and like check on things or smell things in her house. Mm-hmm. Or, like, get a second opinion just from me. And now yeah. it's like you live my, like, old life. You're like, woo, I go to parties. <laughs> I'm going to get a trees. <gasps> like, this is yeah. how my life was before. Remember when you used to be like, how do you just do that? How can you just pick up and go on a trip? Like, yeah. How can- I mean, have you been on a trip since it's you started Lexapro disgusting. outside of the country? Uh, not outside. <laughs> oh, well, I went to Montreal, but that was for work. Do hmm. I get three questions? What is that? But I don't know what I am a super is. smeller. I should just <laughs> I don't know what it is, do you? Oh, Tia? It's it it smells like a food of sorts. It looks it looks like uh, a food. Okay. <laughs> well, I know for sure it's not a living thing because I smell like a stale food. So can what you twist it toward me and show me? Because yeah, I think it's something like? that's I think it's something that I know. Yes. It I is? Know. Mm-hmm. What is we whis- will you mouth it to me? It actually feels like a sea cucumber. <laughs> Look at her face. I'm gonna go ahead. Hold on. It's either 
It, it's it could be a cow tongue. Ooh, if that's a if, if no somebody, cow tongue's flatter than this. It it, it is. Uh, wait, oh hold on, it has roots. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. She's pulling a string out of it. Ew, ew, it's ew. not a string. It's attached to it. It's one of a fiber. I, I don't think it's a sea cucumber because it, I think it's a, a wet vegetable of sorts. It yeah. smells like that. But I'm, that's, I can't think of another uh, vegetable. So I'm just going to go ahead and say sea cucumber. What does it mean? Wait, it's wait. Pickled radish. Oh. Isn't it like radish, in the futamaki everybody? or whatever oh, it's called? Oh, yeah. You're right. Isn't that what it is? Because I remember growing up, my mom used to be like, put the monkey. God damn it. Because she would go to the. um, Can I just say, because when I was scared, you guys were like, if you are a nurse, you would do it. A nurse knows what they're touching when they have their eyes are open. First off, I didn't say that. I I just want to say I still Because you would never be a nurse. To be a nurse. (laughs) What? Should we give Esther one more (laughs) to prove her nurse dumb? No, 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 no. We're done. We were done. We're done with this game. We're done. We're done. No, we're done with the game. No, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a nurse. Please, we're done. Why did we stop eating cereal as adults? Dude, because it's bad for you and it's like full of sugar. It was the happiest though. I know. Dude, that is why Magic Spoon is my favorite thing ever to be invented. It's so delicious. And I can just shove a bowl down and not feel bad at all because it's filled with protein. And it's like, it's it's good for you. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only what? four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. Oh, my God. I forgot. They sent – I just got the new – the two new flavors they brought back the cookies uh-huh. and cream and the maple waffle syrup or something uh-huh. it's so good it's so breakfasty and like sweet and indulgent but there's no guilt about it it's, i want you need it yeah you need I'll, it come I'll, over i'll yeah, give you a box we have it yeah i want it now so flavors include cocoa fruity frosted peanut butter blueberry cinnamon and what esther mentioned cookies and cream and maple waffle Subscribe today to Flavors You Love and you can get cereal shipped to your doorstep, not to mention saving more than 25% on every order. You can choose four Flavors You Love, edit your subscription, switch it up, and keep yourself stocked up on cereal. Go to magicspoon.com slash Tuesday5 or use our promo code Tuesday5 at checkout to get $5 off your order and try it today. Remember, if you subscribe to Magic Spoon, you get $5 off on top of the 25% savings from subscribing. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember, subscribe and get your delicious guilt-free cereal on the regular at magicspoon.com slash Tuesday5 and use the code Tuesday5 to save big. Thank you so much, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. We love you. Thank you. I'm having you for dinner tonight. It's really hard to navigate skincare products and to know when there's so many options out there, which one is right for you? What ingredients are best for you? And, you know, are you going to spend all this money on like random marketing? Is it going to work? Yeah, dude, that is why apostrophe is such a game changer because it is a prescription skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. An apostrophe will connect you with a board-certified dermatologist who will create a personalized treatment plan that is perfectly tailored to your skin. All you have to do is simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz about your skin goals and medical history, then snap a few selfies and your dermatologist will create your customized treatment plan. An apostrophe treats acne and they could also help you hit your other skincare goals like reducing redness, which is absolutely mine. I'm so red. Wrinkles and even dark spots. For me, there are several things wrong with my skin. Number one, I suffer from eczema. I have melasma on my upper lip, dark spots, acne, hormonal acne, all of the above. And I, apostrophe has changed my life. The fact that you have a dermatologist at your fingertips is a life changer. Well, there's just real thing, real solutions out there that only a doctor can really help you with. Mm-hmm. And like, I know for me, when my skin was bad compared to the confidence I feel since I have kind of gotten my skin in place with a doctor's help, like it really can just be a confidence booster, which can make your whole life better. You look good. You feel good. You act good. And people don't know this, but the skin, fun fact, is the largest organ in our body. 
We should be taking care of it, you guys. We have a special deal for our audience. Save $15 off your first visit with a board-certified dermatologist at apostrophe.com slash Tuesday when you use our code Tuesday. This code is only available to our listeners. So to get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash Tuesday and click begin visit. Then use our code Tuesday at sign up and you'll get $15 off your dermatology visit. That's A-P-O-S-T-R-O-P-H-E dot com slash Tuesday. And use that code Tuesday to get your dermatology visit and save $15. And we thank Apostrophe for sponsoring this podcast. It's so weird that like all three of us, it's like a weird triangle. Like we have a really close relationship separate you guys have a really close yeah. relationship separate and then we're like i don't know what we are but i'm in love with you <laughs> i'm in love with you too <laughs> but like it's we, we've never all no that's had a so meeting true. of the minds it's interesting that kalila has turned very mean when we're all together <laughs> she's, she's like, like hee hee let me see what happens <laughs> <laughs> touch it put your nail in it <laughs> <Dip your finger. laughs> but this is so much fun like it is fun i know this we is great both, it's fun it's like it's almost like I can feel a closeness with Kalila that we both know so much about you. I know. <laughs> I feel like you too. Like there might not be anyone else aside from Sosi. And you know stuff from like even before I moved here. Yeah. But it's weird that people you love, I love. Hmm. It's it. I That's don't know if there's. Because um, they're all so different. They are they all, all so suck. different. But yeah. they're. <laughs> but I love them all. Like I adore Sosie. Yeah, I really like Sosie too. So it's like there haven't really met anyone through you. And I, again, you you gave me one of the biggest yeah. contributions in my life because she gave me one of the contributions of my life, which is Shandy. Oh, yeah. One of my other really, really close girlfriends I met through her. Oh, I don't know her well. I'm from Chicago too. Chicago, yeah. I love, that's like one of my warm spots, like sharing my friends it's always my Come goal here. to like <clears throat> push them on each other. Or like when I left Chicago, I would give friends there who I knew would get along, mm -hmm. super close friends, each other's numbers and be like, hey, well, I'm not there. How about when I left and then you took over my babysitting job and now like we both have such a good relationship with that family. Oh my God. Like that's so special to me. Though. I feel like you left a trail for me that like, I just followed do, you Go here. do this, go do this. Wait. Also, Kyla, I want to tell you this because I feel like you'll really understand. You'll be like the one person that gets it. The moment that I knew I was full. Okay, Donut is eating your brain through your nose. Um, the moment <laughs> that I knew Jenna was like so special and I need to be your friend forever is very strange. But like we were, we used to, we used to take this class, Fission 101, Food <laughs> Science and Health. Wait, what's it called? Fission. F-S-H-N. Food, Food Science, Science Health. Oh, nutrition. I thought you meant like. Human Nutrition, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh and like so a fissure. <laughs> it was like a big lecture hall at university of illinois like just you know huge whatever and for some reason every class me and jenna and our third friend Kristen, would sit in the front row our third friend like that's the only <laughs> ones we had our third friend and like so we would always sit in the front row and like keep in mind like the first 10 rows are empty mm -hmm. nobody is like everyone is way back and so we'd always sit everyone's there. like asleep and high and yeah hung over and, and we like, were so into this class and one day, Jenna had, like, brought a snack with her, and I was like, oh, my God, like, that looks so good. Can I have some? And she's like, I can't even – this is what she says to me. I can't even believe you would dare ask me, knowing what a busy day I have, that you would dare ask me for a bite of my food. I can't believe that I ever said that because I'm so generous, but I also know that Esther was probably always pushing it, and I knew that she would be like – I'll finish it. No. Like, I'll just eat it. But then I was like, oh, my God. Like, something just came over me where I was like, she just, like, so aggressively told me that she's not sharing with me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm in. Like, I love this. You you love the vibe of the kid who offers the chips but crunches the bottom so you, you can't get that much. You can only really get, like, one or two chips max. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, the vibe she gave off it was just like oh i want to be like that too i want to tell people fuck no you can't have a fry like, because the thing is is that that's how you really felt all the time yeah no you cannot have a fry but would die being like okay here. yeah <laughs> but i would also say like i was sharing all the time yeah you are a sharer now but it that was a very also but if it's like this is what i packed and i have six hours at the library right now 
and eleven dollars in my bank account, you are not getting. Yeah, this. she was counting her macros on a yeah. budget. That's Mac- you know, that's <laughs> also. I feel like an experience that we had in college is sort of like why I felt like I had to make my stand up special the way that I made it was because I have it's like stand up intercut with like scenes with my parents. Oh, this is and that real. is kind of because of the <clears throat> first time you met my parents, what you said <clears throat> to me, I was like, it, I don't know. Will you tell Kalila? Yeah. So basically. I had never met Esther's parents, but I always we were, in, we were in college, right? We yeah. were in college, which the way we met is like this whole other story. But we're in college, and Esther probably convinced me to drive her home this weekend, and I'm going to her childhood home. I'm meeting her parents. I'm like, this is going to be so cool. We're in her house, and immediately I'm like something is not right. <laughs> like, well, I can't put my finger on it, but what's wrong with <laughs> this household? And not like they were mean or rude, but it was just like so peculiar <laughs> in a way that I was like, well, okay, let me just like keep observing and try and figure out like how I fit in here. And then we get into the van, right? Yeah. It was a van and we head to somewhere in Evanston yeah. to go eat. Her mom and dad are just going back and forth and talking. About, like, what they're going to order for dinner or something. Yeah, and, like, asking Esther, but also being kind of aggressive about it. (laughs) And I was – I remember having this moment and, like, looking out the window and being like, I get it. (laughs) I get why you are the way you are and why it makes no sense because they make no sense. (laughs) But are all – like, how someone can be so particular, but also there's, like, no sense behind it yeah it is weird about you because i feel like there are certain things that you're very particular like she said particular about but you also live with a lot more abandon yeah um than it's the lexapro (laughs) no but even before that um yeah so it's sort it's a weird mix it's you're very similar to bobby in that way yeah i i think that i'm bobby (laughs) i think you are (laughs) i'm not as talented but i fucking identify with him Imagine if that's some in the future. It's just something that you can do. It's just I identify as, as Bobby, a Bobby Lee. as Bobby Lee, <laughs> <laughs> and then like, like no one can take that away Bobby from you. Lee. Yeah, I am Bobby Lee, like for sure. I think so. He I think is he'd his agree. own because he's his own species. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think he's there. He always says there are twelve human prototypes. He's one. And you know we all un- we fall under each one of those twelve prototypes. You fall under the the, the Bobby Lee, one. yeah, yeah, the Bobby I totally Lee, agree. made in the nineteen forties. Oh yeah, um, not the most efficient for mod- modern day, but beloved and held in high regard as a vintage piece. Hmm. Disgusting and dirty, no. mm. hygiene questionable. <laughs> needs, needs refurbishing for sure. <laughs> you know what's crazy though too is that I never really thought you were odd until I met your parents because then I saw it on someone else and I was like oh it all makes sense (laughs) like I don't remember why are you confused I'm just listening to you like I don't remember thinking that you were like weird because you were you're weird (laughs) well I was weird I don't feel like I'm weird anymore well you can just be not (laughs) weird anymore (laughs) Just because you like live in LA and everyone's weird. yeah, like You're I don't do things weird. like dry shave in public places anymore. Yeah, but that's like not that's just like an example. That's not the actual weirdness. That it's like the weirdness is underneath that. That's just like a behavior of how it manifests. Got it. Got it. You're still so weird, <laughs> right? Uh, oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. I. I. But I. I think that's. I'm why not offended. I'm just like that's not how I would assess myself. <laughs> Not to say that I have a criteria for friends, but <laughs> the weirder the better for me. I'm a voyeur. I like watching weird people do their yeah, thing. Yeah, I have that too. And it's, I love it's showing. It's actually really yeah. fucked up. It's I, a fucked up quality because <clears throat> I, I feel like my friend, like my sane friends are always like, you just need to like start watching TV shows so you can stop hanging out with the insane people. <laughs> <laughs> like just watch it on a show. They're like, yeah, you don't Absorb need to it that live way. it. Yeah. Not, you're not that, in, like you're just weird in like a fun way, not in a like... Toxic. Yeah, you're you're the weirdest you're the weirdest sober person I know. Like I've never seen someone look so high at 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 a club. 
I've never seen someone look so high on PCP while not being on PCP. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, people, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm like, oh, she's making out with an inanimate object, but she's sober. I promise you guys, she's sober. People were always like, no, I, I, I've seen you drunk. And I'm like, people I've been friends with for like 20 years. Oh my, wait, should we banana break? <laughs> yes, let's, let's banana, banana break. break. Do I get a banana? Yeah. yeah. Do you, you weren't with me, but it was at that frat party. The, remember the one frat house that I would go to all the time? That we have a picture at? Yeah. It was all yes. the ugly guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also in college, every guy liked Jenna. Of course. They still do. Uh, and I was just acting like how we act, you know, like just being really silly, crazy, running around, like dancing, like Obnoxious. Just doing weird shit. And this whole night, this one guy was talking to me the whole night. And then one of my girlfriends who like lived in my building with me was there too. And she goes, she's laughing. She's like, Esther, this is what I love about you. You act like this and you are dead sober. And the guy who I'd been flirting with all night, like having so much fun with, he just looks at me, he's like, you're sober? I'm like, yeah. And he literally walked out of the room and didn't talk to me the rest of the night. It was so traumatizing. Because he was that so embarrassed to do with because you. he had been so fucked up that he was like, oh, shit. No, she's or was sober. he like going to rape yeah. me? Like yeah, it's like, <laughs> I have no interest in this person I cannot take advantage of. Yeah. Because she has a clearer mind than me in this moment. Like, oh, I thought she was going <laughs> to. <laughs> How fucked up is that? No, you yeah. remember, no guys liked me in college. I liked you. <laughs> I had a big That was dick. all I needed. <laughs> Didn't know guys like you. Oh, this is sad. I didn't feel like that. That's sad. That's like when the mom is, <laughs> is like, oh, I think guys like you. <laughs> no, oh, it. there was the one. Oh, no, not him. <laughs> oh, look. The one time at the. Oh, that was Lena. <laughs> well, wait, I'll whisper her name. Because um, our, our friend group definitely loves bringing this name up, but I don't know if you know it. Do I remember it? Then you don't. Because. Mm -hmm. Was he the frat boy? There was one frat guy that I kind of had a thing with. Mm. Oh, that was his name? Yeah. <laughs> but then one time he was, his mom sent him puppy chow. You know that like, it's like, <laughs> that like snack that like moms make. Wait, puppy like chow? Chex mix, um... Yeah, it's like a, it's like for people, but it's oh, called oh, oh. puppy chow. And it's like, uh, I don't know, marshmallows and Chex mix mm -hmm. and chocolate, pow powder sugar. Mm -hmm. And when we were sitting on his bed and like, we, he was like sharing with me and then he was like, <clears throat> I think you had too much of it. And he like took it away from me. <laughs> Did you really fart or something? What? No, Did you fart? That? No, I think he just like wanted to keep it for himself. Oh, <laughs> and I was eating too much of rude. it. That would be really funny if it was real puppy chow. And, you just <clears throat> and I was eating most dog of food. it because you were once a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob the dog. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, that's so cute. <laughs> like, one of the most like humiliating so times I've ever hooked up with a guy at UNLV. He played baseball. Um, it was the night after. Thankfully, we never had sex, but you know, we had a whole lot of um, smooching. Oh, smooching was smooching. Um, and granted, we were both like pretty drunk, but the amount of times he asked me what my name was the the morning after really broke my heart. And I know I have a difficult name to remember, but he was like, "Wait, wait, what's your name again? Malaysia?" <laughs> oh! And I'm like. Oh, close enough. Close <laughs> enough. Thank you so much for remember remembering. Because he was Khalila. So cute. Yeah, Khalila. Khalila. He had like 18 different <clears throat> variations of my name. And I remember as soon as he left the door, like I cried. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh what did God. you feel? I just felt um, like that was the least he could have done is commit my my name to to memory. Yeah. Because then it just felt like, wow, he really does not remember what we did, is not interested in me in any way. He just wanted like a blind blackout hookup. Ew. And that's what I was like. And then the fact man. that he kept asking your name, it's like if you don't remember it, just, just drop don't it. ask. Just let yeah, just drop it. Yeah. And then my friend was like, maybe he has a learning disability. <clears throat> I was like, I'll take that. <laughs> that's what I'll move forward <laughs> He's with. Stupid. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Remember your boobs were bigger in college? They were huge. And mm -hmm. actually just a couple weeks ago they were huge because I was bleeding. But I had a 34 double D in mm -hmm. like my breasts came up to my collarbone. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yes. it was crazy. You remember I had huge tits? <laughs> that was yeah. really fun. They were me. huge. Esther would constantly just walk up to me and pull my shirt down and like touch them or look at them. No listener we of this show is surprised to hear that. Yeah. Esther is the moves. <laughs> um, huh? 
I said the most <laughs> esterist of moves. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we want to do the lie detector? You can't handle the truth. In regards to lie detectors, I think I could be the most innocent person on earth and fail every single yeah, lie detector you're just nervous. based on my armpit sweat alone. Yeah, for sure. And my heart rate always being high. I totally think that you're right. Like I would have to knock myself out with fentanyl before I would pass any lie detector. So, okay, go ahead. I've all, you know what's interesting on the reverse of that? I've always felt like, oh, a lie detector, that must be so easy to 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 like to fake. fake. And now that it's here, I literally my heart is pounding. Like the fact that we're talking so about cool. it. Oh my god. But it's a kid's toy? It's, it's already short-circuited cuz my palms are sopping wet. So you guys can either ask your own questions. We have some sample questions if you want to go off our list or choose your own. Are you attracted to Bobby? Yes. How do we find out? Oh. Ah! Yes, there we go. Pussy wet. <laughs> just, just even when you ask that I question. I know you are too. Yeah. Ew. I love little mustached Asian man. That's She's my vibe. She's so attracted to him. I but to be him. still attracted is weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Esther loses attraction after like 14 hours though. Yeah. Are you attracted to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not a real question. That was just a joke one. Well, it's your fucking fault. No. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, all right. Ready. This feels like shark, like a shark. Um, are you allergic to gluten? No. Are you oh. sensitive to gluten? Yes. Ah! <laughs> what did it do? Wait, did you lie? Uh, I said no, lied. I'm not allergic to it, but I am sensitive to it. But you made I it fucked it up. I fucked it up. One I fucked of those it up. Was wrong. Obviously. Okay, did next question. Okay. Oh Wait, I my have to god. Think. Okay, this one's a, yeah, I, I'm gonna pull one this of these. This is scary. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay quick. I'm Ask scared. Quick. Have you ever um, not changed your underwear underwear for longer than two days? No. I hope it says you're lying. Ah! <laughs> Why does he keep doing this? <laughs> Is it my rings? It's no, shocking me. You are me. a liar, Jenna. Now Do start. you know how afraid I am oh, of wearing dirty very, underwear? I know that that's a fucked up thing because Jenna I'm paranoid. She is probably she probably scrubs it with a brillo pad I that's how paranoid she the is answer was. That was a can negative. we ask it can we ask again i'm that gonna take my ring off the, and the question which confused <laughs> me i would not have known how to answer it i'm afraid of this thing do you like bobby for me yes <laughs> Ow. Jenna, why? I'm telling the truth i don't know what to say this I'm machine doesn't bobby. like me i'm telling bobby <laughs> 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 but like <laughs> pass it to Esther no wait can we see if this is ever gonna say no I'm done with that that's actually a good question because I'm I've like never thought of you with anyone but yeah. Bobby so and when like, people uh, ask me about you with Bobby I'm like there's no one else and I do believe you there's no one else for, for the record hi little baby are you obsessed with Dodie yes I'm so scared right now it's gonna shock me <laughs> Yeah, is that fucked up? Get it off. That is like a taser. It that is. is so severe. Or I'm just in a room full of liars. <laughs> it's like obviously you're obsessed with your dog. That thing is false. <gasps> Ow, it broke my hand. You know how many times I just felt that? Ow. Ow. It's like an electrocutor. It's really bad. That it's feels bad. like when I got electrocuted in Argentina. This is not <laughs> once. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you something about electrocution, you guys. I grew up in a country where the wiring is faulty everywhere. Every other day when I turned on the fucking bathroom lights, it was a shock to my entire system. And I think this That's is probably why, why you have heart issues. It's also probably why I'm stacks. I think that my brain is has been rewired in some way because of all that electrical charge as a youngin. Oh. Do you think you have superpowers? Um, yeah. Genuinely. Her brain is superpowers. Yeah, but for basic things, like which way to push a door, like push or pull, I can't figure it out. Oh, yeah. She's like, <laughs> I thought you were going to say that was your superpower, always knowing to push or pull. Is that a superpower? I was like. The amount of times okay. Jenna has seen me just run into a door or like not and knowing basic things. panic because she's like, did I read that wrong? I don't. I tried to pull, but I. Uh. Yeah, I short circuit for the dumbest things. But should we? Ask, you don't want any more questions? I guess I'll there? take one more. But uh, this thing Young. is fake. What if I like start getting into the shocks and then I need it to get off? <laughs> That's like what my okay. Oh my god! It's Have you ever suck. worn underwear for longer than four days? No. I. Ha 
I don't think I. Yay! <laughs> That's false. She definitely <laughs> has. That's false. Yo, I'm fuck that so machine. I'm so happy I didn't get shot. You need to call Fisher Price and be like, that's a no. <laughs> when I was younger, though, I you guys never did side A, side B? Because we na- I was a nasty kid, right? You're like, oh, fuck it. I'll just flip my underwear. Oh, I did that. Yeah, especially yeah. when I was spent the summer in New York. I yeah. maybe have done that once. I but love laundry. I mean, you know, I'm like paranoid with vagina area yeah. pinworms. Like um, Jenna last week had a pinworm um, emergency. What? And- she thought she had worms, and I'm sure she did because she's in your a, she nannies. No, in the she had little butthole? sensations in her bum bum. I had sensations in my butt. Did you have worms? So I took the medicine because I, I, it is my fear. Yeah. to have pinworms. What is pinworms? There's just uh, it's a parasite. It's what kids kids get them. Kids all get it. The it's time. worms in your doo doo. It's worms uh, that go, <laughs> that go in your intestines. Is it the ones that make you skinny? That's well, a tapeworm. You want to buy one in Mexico? Can you really do that? Um, pinworms eat. could make you skinny because they feed off your glucose, but like you would need to have like a lot and be reinfected. And Yeah, tapeworms are gnarly because you end up getting like sort of this like beer gut. You might be skinny up oh. here, but you have um, oh, like I a bloat to that. you. Um, I one time falsely diagnosed a coworker at Abercrombie with tapeworm because I didn't like her. Hi. And she was really mean to everyone around her. And so one time she was like, I haven't, I don't, I don't feel well. And I was like, I'm pretty sure you have a pretty tapeworm. Sure. Pretty sure. And I showed her a picture of what someone with a picture. tapeworm looked like. And she was like convinced she had a tapeworm. I was like, where have you traveled recently? What kind of foods have you eaten? She was such a bitch. What happened to her? <laughs> Nothing. She probably went to the doctor and asked if she had a tapeworm. <laughs> she would always make me like get the sizes in the back. Where was this Abercrombie and Fitch? Yeah, Glendale Galleria. Oh, no. I hate mean girls. Fucking cunt. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that machine. Yeah. I yeah. That machine is false. Yeah. I can, I can You're very go on the record and say that it Jenna has me. the most pristine vagina in the world. Wait, what? why are they saying that? That's not true. Oh, because it was like. Her? She, I, I, she's oh, she never not it washing. Yeah, we didn't say it looks nice. Did we you wash it? Clean. Do you wash it in the it shower? It does look nice. Unfortunately, I do. With what? Dr. With Dr. Bronner's. Bronner's or this one that's like pH But you don't – do you think you need to wash your vagina with soap? I – so I've had a very – in the last two years, I have completely stopped soaping my vagina. And, and it's probably just, helped you. It is no more beastie yeasties, feeling so sprightly down there, feeling very clean, less discharge, You're less not irritation. To I washed wash the shit out of my soap. asshole though. Oh, Why same. do you wash it then? I don't know. I'm just like always paranoid Wait, about getting something. I wash it digitally, like I mechanical like water, wash it. Wait, with water. What? what? Mechanically, like I take out the the, you know, the creams. What? You don't. But you know the creams. No, I don't. Esther, I'm not kidding. What are you talking about? Esther, do you not remember calling me like four years ago and being like, <laughs> "Do we need to give her another lie detector?" <laughs> Does Esther have the creams? Put the thing back on her hand. Yeah, get the, get the back on her hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Shh, shh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so do you have the creams? I don't call that that, but I know, I, I just can guess what I think you're saying. You know what's fucked it's up? It's schmegma. At the gynecologist office yesterday, I blinked. I've been blinking a lot lately, <laughs> and I'm sitting there like this. And I was like, I just had a question about my... You know, um, she's like, your vagina. And she's sitting there with her gloves on with her assistant, my yeah. legs open. And I'm like, uh, my, hold on, just give me a moment. You know, the stuff that in your vagina. And she's like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> and I was like, just give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> discharge. And she's like, oh, yeah, what about it? And apparently, so I... We all have discharge. Yeah. But I haven't really had normal discharge. Like, I don't really have a lot. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that it was because, most likely because of my PCOS. PCOS, And uh so I'm not ovulating. And so when you're ovulating is when you get the thicker, like, gushing out. Ovulating Mm -hmm. is when you get the egg white. It feels very wet down there. Yeah, and like milky. And so I've never really had that. Maybe every now and then. Mm -hmm. But 
So I was like, I just have a question about my discharge. It's like milk. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she, <laughs> she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, it's just yeah, jizz. it's just like, you know, kind of all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, there's like milk running down my leg or something. <laughs> and she was like. You're lying. No, really, this is yesterday. You can call milk her and ask dripping? Her. Yeah, it's like all That's, of a sudden it, it like gushes and you're like. <gasps> gushes? I feel yeah. like gush, yeah. It's like all all of a sudden it'll be like a. Oh, I know that, but it's not milk. It's like egg white. It's, it's sperm. <laughs> It's like, just sperm from. But it's not It's not as thick for me, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what's throwing me off. The th- I'm thinking of a thin milk. Yeah, it's like a milky. Like one percent. It's like it's, it's like the top of the yogurt. Yeah, it's a skimmed part. Mm, yeah. Well, that's not milk on the top of the yogurt. <laughs> that's a clear. <laughs> we should. The go-go queen knows all about it. I know. Is it gloopy, gloppy? Like the I. Gloopy and gloppy are the same thing. They're not. they're not anyhow she was like i'll take a look so she goes in with the speculum yeah the speculum the little duck mouth Uh Ugh, worst worst thing i used to ask for the small one the small size so she goes in but now that i'd be fucking (laughs) big one one time the small one got lost in you what happened (laughs) why can't they my mom is calling hey mom you called me. Well, you said, hey, mom, and so I said, yes. What are you calling for? Like, what? Like you're going to tell me something. When you said, hey, mom, I thought you were going to tell me something. Yeah, what I was going to tell you is like, what up? Why are you, why are you calling? <laughs> is that funny? Um, Wait, right just now, before you say anything, you are on a podcast right now with me, Kyle, and Esther. Is she microwaving oh. something? <laughs> okay. What was your first impression of Esther? Like, did you think? I don't remember. I think she met my mom before she met me. Well, she I know she did. Mom, what are your thoughts about so, Kalila? I love Kalila. Oh, but she said that like, I love Kalila. Yeah, like not <laughs> Esther, but I love <laughs> Kalila. <laughs> my mom's obsessed with you. Well, remember when we, when... I asked your mom after she met your boyfriend, what she think of him? And she wouldn't, she like, like a script she would not stray from. She kept saying, I've met him before. <laughs> <laughs> I've met him before. This is what I think of Esther. Esther had in her mind what she wanted to do and she went for it and was not going to stop at not getting it. Translation is, and you haven't done it yet. <laughs> like she did the interviews on the street. She did all kinds of things. I'm telling you, every single month, maybe, she'll reference something since I moved here that's like, well, Esther did this. Oh my God, that's you so should have done this because Esther did it. All parents do that. <laughs> why, don't you, all, why don't you get back to stand up? Esther did it. All parents do it. A hundred percent. Did you see? Parents. She'll write to me. She'll write to me. What is this? And it's a screenshot of something you've just posted on Instagram. Oh my god, that's so annoying. And I'm like, it's it's what it looks like. It's a picture of Esther in front of a tree. <laughs> well, what? What is she doing? Dude, the last time I was home, my mom, I was like, Mom, am I did I gain weight? And she's like, Well, if you have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> It's like our moms. It's just like (laughs) you're never gonna be good. (laughs) Set your mom free. Okay, mom. Love you. We're gonna go. Thank you, Jerry. Bye. 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 That is true about you, Esther. What? Say what you will about sweet little (laughs) Esther, but you have a fortitude and a persistence that is unmatched. And I have so much respect for you. It's insane. Thank you. Yeah, you want it, you get it. It's like you have to be insane to do that. Jenna, um, you guys, I'm going to plug it on her behalf because she sucks at self-promotion. I'm not great at self-promotion either, but Ooh, she's worse than me. At? Oh, um, the people. Everyone knows I have the sweatiest armpits um, in Los Scale. Angeles. And one of the things that I am never, despite having the sweatiest armpits, is smelly. That's Esther, true. You, you can attest to this. Yeah. She smelled my armpits. And that is because Jenna has the best concoction of homemade deodorants. So everybody go Can to, um, is it by Tia Jenna? It's, oh, which is also a name that Esther came up with. It's called Pit Stop by Tia Jenna. Mm-hmm. And so the brand is by Tia Jenna. Uh, so where do you go to get it? Go to my Instagram, 
and then which is Jenna Jimenez, and then in the profile it says by Tia Jenna, and you just click on it and follow, or you can just go to, I think by Tia. It's in my Instagram. There is uh, no Kalila. You go back to the promotion. Song, right? <laughs> yeah, you sh- <laughs> and you shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, but honestly, this is I. It's so crazy that this is something that you make because literally, I would not be able to show up at work without this. It's so, it's it weird. It works, that's all. It's like you fucking took your crazy, wacko, <laughs> genius brain and you made something really good and I'm like obsessed. You know what and sucks? I, is can that, I have some of the, I need yeah, it. There can I be There can be no better <sighs> test subject than me. That's You'd be hard pressed to find a better test subject or than me. Or Esther for smell. <laughs> <laughs> I love Wetness for me, smell of Esther. Um, and you did a Thank you. fucking... Genius job. So everybody Thank go get you. pit stop. I be like me smell. and Esther. I you know what sucks smell. is that I didn't. Sosie always says she emotionally connects with the smell. I do too. Yeah. In fact. When she feels Ooh. anxious sometimes she just goes. Yeah. It's a very grounding smell. Mm-hmm. My armpits. Look, if you need a good whiff of relaxation, just smell my armpits. And I started making it like six years ago, but because I'm very bad at business. Well, I was the okay, one that was stop like... talking there. So go to Instagram. <laughs> She's not bad B-Y- at business. Pit stop. Tia Jenna. B-Y-T-I-A-J-E-N-N-A on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And there's an email. It's where you can uh, place your orders. Guys. Yes, the email. I'm the one that told her, get a fucking sticker with a label. Make it look real cute. And she did finally. Yeah, yes. Esther was like, come to me when you want to be real about this. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> we should give her, do you like money? Yeah, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on the special episode of our podcast slash... YouTube show, whatever you want to call it, trash bag of slugs. Um, I'm so happy that people finally got to have see Jenna on because I know Jenna has a lot of fans. We out reference there. you I'm so much. Yeah, people, too. and I'm also so happy for the people who don't know Jenna yet and now know that she's insane. She's one of us. She's a slug. She's a slug. She's the OG slug. Um, she's a busy slug though. Busy bodied slug. Always busy bodied. It's like what yeah. am I? And I highly done? recommend following her. I feel like there's so much everyone can learn from her. Y'all are so sweet. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye.